Guess what, Fabio fans? On this episode of Chin Chin to Italian, I'm gonna show you how to make butternut squash ravioli. Delicious. This dish is for the one you love. They're gonna love you even more. And if someone doesn't like you, you should cook them this dish too and turn them into a believer. Trust me. I'm Fabio Viviani. Join me in my home where I'll show you how to cook the exact Italian food my family makes back home in Florence, Italia. On my new show, Chin Chin to Italia. Welcome everybody, I'm Fabio Viviani and this is Chin Chin to Italian where we celebrate authentic cuisine from across Italy. Year around is a good time to eat butternut squash ravioli, which is exactly what we're making today. Ricotta stuffed roasted squash amaretto cookie, decadent and yet very simple. By the way, which we're gonna serve it with brown butter sage sauce, rich, creamy, Perfect. All right, the first things you guys gotta do is the filling. For the squash filling, we got some traditional butternut squash, and you have a few options here. First option is, you know, you play chef, and you roast the whole squash, take the seed out, and mash the pulp. Second option, which is the easier one, you buy a can of squash puree. Some, it's absolutely fine. Now, if you were my grandma, it's kind of a little frown upon, because we don't have canned squash in Italy, but this is America, you can find it. There is nothing wrong with it. Actually, I do like that shortcut. It's nothing else but squash puree. Why bother? Then we have some delicious creamy ricotta in the squash. We have God's currency grated Parmesan cheese in the squash with the ricotta. How much? All of it, not all of it, because I want you to save some for the topping, but cheese, especially Parmesan, is like money. Why would you stop the flow of it? Did you ever hear somebody saying, you know what, cut it out, we're making too much money here. Nope, don't want any more. Checking account is way too big. Nobody ever said that. Same things applies for cheese. There is no such a thing that's too much cheese. Butternut squash filling required for crushed amaretto cookies. Now, I understand not everybody likes the amaretto flavor. It's a very acquired taste. It's a little bit bitter, very sweet, but the cookies give the texture a nice crunch as well as a touch of sweetness that is necessary for the traditional Italian flavors. Then, a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. There. How well do we need to mix it, Fabio? Well, you need to mix it. You don't need to over mix it because the reality is that there is not a whole of a lot of uh, crunchiness to it. Although you have cookies, but the cookies will kind of get lost uh, as far as texture into the squash filling, right? So set this aside. Now here's what we do. You get a nice deep saute. You get these on medium low. Medium low, it's important. You add butter to it. How much butter? Well, you know, a lot of butter because it's a brown butter sage sauce with the emphasis on the butter part. It's butter sauce, you gotta add butter. Then you get a good handful of sage leaves, just like that. Look at that. Little bit of pepper. And again, in the sauce, a pinch of salt. There. Now, fun part. Boiling water. Look at that. By the way, did I tell you how much I love this pan? Check this out. You can lift it. And the lid is the colander. Smart. Now, Egg wash. Do you know what is an egg wash? It's something that it makes no sense because nobody's gonna wash themselves with eggs, but the eggs wash is nothing than cracked eggs with a little bit of water that you kind of brush the fresh dough as you try to make the ravioli so it sticks together and your ravioli doesn't open and mess everything and makes you really sad. Because this dish, it's like happiness. There is nothing else that gets closer to happiness than the butternut squash ravioli. 
pasta sheets. We already saw how to do those. If you didn't, you can quickly click right here. That's done. All right, so now I got one piece of pasta. I got this fancy brush right here. And now I'm brushing the pasta with the egg wash. Then you're gonna get a little spoon, and then you're gonna put a dollop of the filling there. Look at that, there. Then you get another piece of the pasta. Look at that. You layer on top. Now what you gotta do, with a little hand, you make a kind of a cup, like a little, you put your hand like this, and you just go on top of it, trying to kind of have the little pasta stick to the side. Look at that, perfection. Sage is still cooking. Somebody watching was wondering, what about the sauce? The sage is still cooking, low and slow. It's gonna get crispy, absolutely delicious. Now we're gonna start to cut these, trying to go in the middle, like that, all right? So now you're gonna have a little pieces of pasta left over. Don't worry about those. You go here, and then you're still starting to get the ravioli shaped. And you still gotta get it, and you gotta press the ravioli with your hand. It's important that you press it because if you don't press it, it doesn't matter what cutter you're using, they're not gonna stick together. Now you made a beautiful stuffed ravioli. Look at that. Now, and if you happen to not understand how to make straight lines with a pasta cutter, because this clearly, I didn't make a straight line there. All you have to do is to call your ravioli rustic. The, the fact that you're using the word rustic, when in reality, you completely mess the shape of your ravioli, will save you from mocking. Saying the rustic when the food does not look consistent is your best out of jail, free, all you gotta say it's rustic, all right? So let's make a few more. Egg wash, good looking ravioli, bad looking ravioli, we don't care. Ravioli tastes good. You see what kind of uh, precision I'm just brushing this? This is because I'm Italian and Michelangelo was also Italian. So basically I'm painting the 16 Chapel right now with egg wash on my pasta. Clearly, we invented the Renaissance. So, for everybody else in the world watching, if you have art, you can thank us for it. All right, look at this. Two. Yeah, make a little bit more. I mean, what am I, on a diet? Three, four. Look at that. I could do this for a living. Fabio can make fantastic ravioli. Checked. Can Fabio make straight line with a pasta cutter? No checked. Nope. Can't do it. Yeah, look at this. Look at this beautiful... <laughs> what shape is this? It has five sides. All right, look at that. Eight perfect ravioli. Ta-da! And by the way, by the time you make ravioli, I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna remove the sage from the brown butter. You know why? I explain you why. Because keeping the sage there, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Problem is, once you add the ravioli, there is gonna be a little bit of pasta water in it, right? There's gonna be natural, a little bit of water in it. And if you add water to fried sage, it will get soggy. And we don't like soggy sage. Fried sage, for the one that doesn't know, tastes like bacon. Tastes like a vegan bacon, which is an oxymoron. But it really does. Crispy, crunchy bacon. This is the things that remind me the most of it. Delightful. Now, have you all in the water? If you have watched any episode with me, you probably know by now that I always tell people that the water has to be to a very lively boil. That does not apply for ravioli. 
because a lively boil will help in the opening of these, and these they have to be closed. So put your ravioli in the water gently, and at times, some do break. So don't get discouraged if some ravioli break. Tips by Fabio, put a couple of extra ravioli. If they break, at least you got the number you were looking for. If they don't break, you got extra ravioli. There is no losing in this situation. So, now we gotta wait three to four minutes on a low to medium flame. Little simmer, little boil, your ravioli will be ready. And then we put them in the brown butter sage sauce. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Look at this. Look what's happening. The brown butter, the brown part of the butter. Look at that. Now we get a plate. Nice silverware, by the way. Cute, very cute, I like it. Look at that. Towel, don't need it, but just in case. It is a buttery sauce. So now we turn it off. And the goal here for this dish is to wet your ravioli with the butter and get the little brown pieces to stick to the pasta. Look at that. Look at this. Then we get the sage. Look at that. The crunch. Then Cheese on it. Happiness! It's pretty good though. Because honestly, you should leave it in the episode because I say happiness and the music went off, which is exactly what's happening when you eat ravioli. You hear bells and music and angels they're talking to you. Look at this. I'm glad you guys watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Gustare Vita, fantastic ravioli. Chin chin. Totally don't edit that. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's perfect. <laughs>